Hi, this is Teresa Wilkinson. I'm going to be talking about how we serve our clients here at Aspen. The first topic I wanna to talk about is always instilling confidence. Consistently complete your assigned tasks promptly with a confident attitude. Now, one way we can do this is by reading the notes in ERSP before our shift. When we have a background of our client's needs and their situation, it's easier for us as caregivers to feel confident and comfortable in the care that we will be providing. I encourage each and every one of you to please read those notes beforehand. If you have any questions or concerns regarding a client, please let the office know. They will answer any questions that you have. We want you to feel comfortable and confident before you go into our client's home. The next section is always choose safety first. Keep an eye out for loose rugs, clutter, or other potentially dangerous areas around the home. When a client is unsteady on their feet, they're more likely to trip or have a fall. Um, they can trip over a carpet runner, area rug, a loose carpet, a cord that may be run across their, their floor, um, something that may be set on the floor that is not usually there. Many of our clients don't see well, so it's important to be aware of these potential hazards. And it's important for us to make sure that their living space is safe. So please be aware of those hazards. The next area is always look for ways to serve. When you see a need, be sure to fill it even if it's not on the care plan. Before leaving, always ask if there's anything more you can do to help them. We recently received some feedback from a current client that we have regarding this topic, and this is what they said. I would like the caregivers to be more attentive to present needs that may not be listed, like taking out trash or vacuuming. Now these may seem like simple tasks for us to do, or for even family members to do, but if we take the initiative and be proactive and do those simple tasks, it speaks a thousand words to our client. It, it lets them know that we care for them, um, we have their best interests at heart, and that we are dependable. And that's one way that we can also instill confidence. So please be proactive in caring for our clients. Next is watch your body language and tone. Your clients pick up on frustrated or negative body language and tone of voice. Avoid rolling your eyes, slumping your shoulders, not making eye contact, and frustration in your tone. Stay positive and keep your client at ease. Now our clients may pick up on more than what we think, especially if we're tired or if we're having a bad day. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. If I were to respond to a client saying, yes, I can do that for you. I'd be happy to. It's not a problem versus, yeah, I can do that for you. Even though both responses say, yes, I can do that for you. They both convey two different meanings. The response where I sighed and said, yes, I can do that for you sends a message of, I can do that for you, but I really don't want to, and I really don't want to be here. We want to avoid all types of, all of those kinds of responses. We are there to help our clients, to take a load off of their plate, to make their life a little bit easier and brighten up their day. Um, we ask that you are aware that many family members, family caregivers rather, have cameras in their loved ones' homes so they can keep an eye on them to make sure that they're safe when they're not with them. Please conduct yourself in a way that would reflect positively on yourself and on us as Aspen. Keep the confidence of your client. Avoid sharing personal information with your friends and family. When you speak about your client, use broad general terms. We take client confidentiality seriously and know that they have put us in, in a position of trust. Please respect that. 
Always remember our promise and that you represent all of us as a professional caregiver. I just want to thank each and every one of you for everything that you guys do, for the care that you give our clients and our seniors in our community. We here at Aspen couldn't do it without you, so thank you.